J. Cole just dropped his new album, K.O.D. And on this album, he has a track titled Friends, which is basically a message to his friends who are drug addicts. So this is a big deal because addiction runs rampant in the black community. And as somebody who is African-American, I really wanted to do a lyrical breakdown of this video. So make sure that you stay tuned and you're gonna see me drop some bars. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And one problem that isn't addressed enough is mental illness and addiction in the African American community here in the United States. This is something that hits close to home. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm half African American. And like, it's important to discuss this because there's a lot in hip hop culture that actually promotes uh, drinking, using drugs and things like that. So I'm really glad whenever an artist like J. Cole addresses it and it's super duper important because people in the community need to start looking at this and realize that maybe there's something that that we can actually do about it if we all come together. So if you're somebody who has a friend who's uh, addicted to drugs, whether they're African American or not, you definitely wanna stay tuned to this video because we're gonna break it down. He hits on some very, very good points, all right? And do me a favor, it's day four of Mental Health Awareness Month, so may the fourth be with you. I'm actually gonna link a couple Star Wars videos I did if you wanna check those out. But it's day four of Mental Health Awareness Month, so this month, make sure you're sharing mental health content like this one, all right? But anyways, <laughs> like I mentioned, um, I'm gonna do kind of a lyrical breakdown. I'm not gonna do the entire uh, <laughs> song, but I'm gonna pick out some lyrics and discuss a little bit about what these mean, um, my perspective on it, and maybe offer some solutions too. All right, so let's jump into it. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to kind of censor this and make it family friendly. But the first verse goes like this. I wrote this stuff to talk about the word addiction. To my brothers, I hope you're listening. Blank and blank, I hope you're listening. This is for the whole Blankenville, I hope you're listening. So like, he's saying like, J. Cole has friends who are addicted and he's hoping that they hear this song and get this message. Smoking medical grade, but I ain't got prescription. All the way in Cali where they ain't got precipitation. Feeling like I'm the only one who made it and I hate it for my brothers cause they ain't got ambition. And J. Cole's talking about in his community where he came from, like he was smoking pot and he worked his way up, but there's a lot of other guys who are still left down there because they ain't got ambition. and. Typically that's because of drug addiction. The heck did you expect? You can blame it on condition. Blame it on crack, you can blame it on the system. Blame it on the fact that 12 got jurisdiction to ride around in neighborhoods that they ain't ever lived in. Blame it on the strain that you feel when daddy missing. Blame it on Trump stuff, blame it on Clinton. Blame it on trap music and politicians. Or the fact that every black boy wanna be Pippin, but they only got 12 slots on the Pistons. Blame it on the rain, Millie Vanilli with the disc dip. Like this is something, this is one of the million reasons why I start off every video where I say, we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And that's kind of what J. Cole's talking about. Like we can blame it on all sorts of different things. We can blame it on the system, we can blame it on the president, or it mentions Clinton, uh, the presidential candidate. You know, uh, you can blame it on your father leaving you, we can blame it on all sorts of things. We can blame it on the cops, we can blame it on so much stuff. What I'm trying to say is the blame can go deep as seas. Just to blame them all, I would need like 20 CDs. So like, He's talking about it, like so many people stay stuck in the problem, stuck in the problem, just passing the blame along left and right. And this is a huge problem with addiction in America as a whole, is that we keep blaming all these other things. And he's saying he could fill 20 CDs with all the different things that he could blame. There's all sorts of trauma from drama that children see, type of stuff that normally would call for therapy, but you know just how it go down in our community, Keep that stuff inside, don't matter how hard it be. Now he's like, he's talking about the community and this is where the community has to come together as a whole, all right? So you got these drug addicted or alcoholic adults, but let's start looking towards the source, all right? So the other day I made a video on trauma responses and a lot of people drink and use based on trauma responses. So he's saying that these young kids, 
they're dealing with so much trauma. Like, let's talk about the hood. Let's talk about gang violence. Let's talk about, you know, bad schools. Let's talk about, you know, kids who know their friends who get shot and stuff like that. Like, there's so much trauma happening to them. Is it any wonder that later on they start abusing drugs and alcohol? Just to deal. But he says, but you know just how it go down in our community. Keep that stuff inside. It don't matter how hard it be. So this is another issue. Like, especially with African-American men, we sometimes don't open up and talk about our feelings. Like, it's an issue. We keep that stuff inside, you know? So it's easy to kind of mask it like, oh, I'm just, you know, drinking and using to have fun and party. But a lot of times, we're using that to cover up. We're covering up our emotions. We're covering up our feelings. We're covering up all the terrible stuff that happened to us when we were kids. Because in certain communities, you just don't talk about this stuff. It happens in individual households too, where people are just raised where you just don't talk about your feelings. Guess what? I'm one of them. Fast forward, them kids is growing and they blowing trees and popping pills due to chronic anxiety. So like, <clears throat> Let's talk real quick. Let's talk about hip hop culture right now. Okay, I did a video a while back on Lil Peep. Lil Peep died from a Xanax and fentanyl overdose. If you're not watching the news, Xanax is sometimes getting mixed with fentanyl now. It could be deadly, but Xanax by itself, a lot of overdoses from it. But you got another rapper named Lil Xan, you know? There's these, this new kind of hip hop culture. It's not really new, but they're promoting this kind of substance use. But when you think about it, when, when people are associating this substance use with partying and having fun, right? You're not looking at it like it's a problem. So now my man J. Cole hits him with that tough love. But screw that, now I'm older and I love you because you my friend. Without the drugs, I want you to be comfortable in your skin. I know you, so I know you still keep a lot of stuff in. You run it from yourself and you buy in product again. I know you say it helps and no, I'm not trying to offend, but I know depression and drug addiction don't blend. So what he's saying, this message to his friend, he knows his friend, right? He knows, and he says, I'm not trying to offend you, but like the problem is that you're trying to keep this stuff inside. And when you're bottling it up and keeping all these emotions inside or the trauma that you've been through, when you're keeping that inside, now you're out running trying to get the next drink or the next drug. He says, I'm not trying to offend because if you watch my video I did about being an addict, when people are doing an intervention, we get extremely defensive. So he's like, look, dude, I know you're going through it. I know, and I'm sorry, but that's that tough love. I gotta talk to you about it. Like, I work at a drug and alcohol rehab. My entire job is telling people stuff that they don't wanna hear. And then he says, but I know depression and drug addiction don't blend. Like, yes, like that's the sick and twisted cycle of addiction. People get depressed, then they start drinking or using as a solution solution to that problem. But then the problem is, is that it makes you even more depressed in which you go back to the drugs or alcohol, which makes your depression worse. It's this sick and twisted cycle. Reality distorts and then you get lost in the wind. And I done seen the combo take brothers off the deep end. One thing about your demons, they bound to catch up one day. I'd rather see you stand up and face them than run away. Going back to the depression, he's saying is it distorts your reality. And he's saying with this combination, it takes people out, right? In 12-step programs, you hear people say, jails, institutions, and death. Those are the only three routes that drug or alcohol addiction takes you. So he's saying, this combination of mental illness and addiction is gonna take you off the deep end. And he says, I know your demons, they're bound to catch up with you one day. We're looking for a temporary fix, right? For this massive problem that we have. And he's saying like, man, I wish that you would just stand up and face them instead of trying to run away. And we run away through our drinking or our using. And now it gets good. I understand this message is not the coolest to say, but if you're down to try it, I know of a better way. And you know what my man J. Cole says? Meditate, don't medicate. So that's right, even my man J. Cole is telling y'all to meditate. And if the message comes from J. Cole, you gotta do it. So if you weren't listening to my voice when I keep telling all of you out there to start meditating, listen to J. Cole. Meditate, don't medicate, all right? And <laughs> in all seriousness though, like he was just saying, I'd rather see you face them than run away. That's exactly what meditation does. I will link another video. I don't know how many I can put up in the info card, so I'll link all the videos I've referenced down in the description below, along with some other resources. But I did a video about freedom from emotional bondage, and it's about meditation. Our brains have this natural aversion to emotions and thoughts that we don't wanna feel. So a 
lot of people turn to drugs and alcohol as a way to escape. But with meditation, we learn how to sit and get comfortable with the uncomfortable. We learn how to embrace and turn towards those negative emotions and thoughts rather than trying to run away and escape. This could be drugs, alcohol, it could be toxic behaviors, binge eating, gambling, sleeping around, all sorts of stuff. So this is why J. Cole saying meditate, don't medicate. Medication could be not only in the form of like pills, drugs, alcohol, but you could also be medicating yourself with just all around toxic behaviors. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you did. The only reason why I didn't use this full song in there is because last time I did a Macklemore one, YouTube was like, boom, took that thing down for copyright stuff. So you were all blessed to hear me drop some addiction bars on ya, all right? But anyways, like I said, like I said, if you can relate to this, or if you think this song or this video of the lyrical breakdown might be able to help somebody, please do me a favor and share it. It's Mental Health Awareness Month. What do you got better to do, right? <laughs> but anyways, anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'm always making videos not only about addiction, but also about mental health. Make sure you click that little round subscribe button. And if you wanna check out some other videos on my channel, you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails, all right? So anyways, thanks again so much for watching. Go check out the new J. Cole album, and I'll see you next time.